everyone. My name is Brianna Flonk, and I'm a pest survey specialist for the USDA APHIS PPQ field operations. And my name is Emma Perez. I'm a plant health safeguarding specialist for the Citrus Health Response Program. And this video is part of a series of videos introducing you to the IFIS data collector application. I encourage you all to watch all of the training videos we have at least once to gain a broader understanding of the application as a whole, and then to use as reference for the future. In this video, we will cover field data collection for activity. If you would like to follow along with the activity data entry in the user guide, Navigate to the Mobile Data Collection Tools website, click on General Training Documents, select IPIS, then select the IDC Mobile Application User Guide. Directions for entering activity data can be found on page 16 of the User Guide. On page 26 of the User Guide, there's also a helpful overview of the application structure showing how the IDC app organizes data. The data is initially organized and stored by Office Assignment and Workbook. The field data is then broken down into location, then site, then activity, then sample. In the previous video, I demonstrated how to enter a site, and now we are going to enter the action or activity that you performed within that location. Here's a quick example of a location with a site and an activity that would be performed at the site. Here, the location would be the orchard as a whole, with the access point or parking area being where the GPS coordinates are collected. Within the location, you could collect a site for a visual survey, such as here represented by the star, or where you put up a trap, which is also indicated by a star, and you can see the little trap. So the activities would be recorded every single time that you visit a site. For the activity, you would record whether you did a visual survey or what activity you performed with the trap. So if you were installing the trap, monitoring the trap, or removing the trap, you would enter that in the activity field. The activity field is very important because it has a date attached to it. So it allows you and also the supervisor to see when the sites were actually visited and when the activities were performed. Now I'll show you how to enter the activity data into the IDC application for the previously entered site. In the activities page, to enter a new activity, you'll have to hit the new button in the upper right, and the date will automatically fill in in the field, but you wanna double check that that's correct because this is the only tier in the field data entry system where there's a date connected with it. The host, I'm gonna say Citrus Lehman. I said I was doing a trapping survey, so I'm gonna call it a trapping survey. The action, I'm gonna say I install the trap. The tool is going to be a yellow sticky card and lore not applicable, which again is why I didn't list it as a targeted survey. And for target pests, you can click multiple. You can click as many as you want. You could even click all of them. I'm just going to click the Trioza Eritrea, which I think is the African psyllid. Symptoms, you can also select more than one symptom based on what you see wrong with the plant. And if you don't see any damage, you don't need to put anything. If you know who's going to be the identifier for potential samples that you collect during this activity, you can add an act identifier, but as you can see, there's no asterisk, so it's not required. Again, as comments, you could list, for instance, if there was something that you noticed during the time of trapping and installing the trap, if you move the trap to a different branch, even put that in the comment. Or if there's a hazard, if a new wasp nest came up, and as you can see, all the lines on the left are green for the required fields. So once you hit save, you can enter a sample. Now you can click on the menu and then locations button. And you'll see there's two locations, both yellow because they're not uploaded to the IFAS database yet. And if you click on the FSA Bailey one that you just entered, you can see all the information is saved and you can click on the sites button and see there's one site trap one at trap one if you click on activities you can see there's one trapping activity and it's that you installed the trap so if you go back to the same trap which is the same site within the same location what you want to do 
is go to the location page, make sure it's the right location, then click on sites. And then instead of adding a new site, you're going to click on the already ex existing site, which is trap one. And then you're going to add a new activity by clicking activities at the bottom. On the activities page, you're going to click new in the upper right. Now I'm going to say that it's still a citrus lemon. You're going to say trapping still is the type of survey. Action is going to be monitor instead of install. Tool is still going to be a yellow sticky card trap. As I said, it's there's no lure. And the target pest is Triosa eritrea. After I save this activity, I'm going to say that I collected a sample during this activity. 